Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to go through everything I purchased in the month of June. A little bit went into July, early July, but it's mostly June. It doesn't include the seal product that I bought, like the Pokemon Go booster box I opened on uh, Instagram Live, etc. So this, this is just singles and other Pokemon related items. Just a quick preview, lots of, uh, <laughs> lots of singles to go through. Um, we're going to end it with a couple of really cool graded slabs. There are some interesting sealed promos and also some obscurity, some things you might have never even seen before. So we'll go through these towards the end. But why don't we just start it off with some singles that I bought. Or actually, this was two, two different lots from the same seller. And it's just a bunch of V-Stars, V-Maxes, Vs, uh, a whole bunch. Uh, like, for example, we have uh, you know a couple of Charizard V-Stars and Charizard Vs. And these I primarily bought to give away on the Instagram channel during, uh, you know, live streams. I plan to do some, you know, whenever a new set comes out, I want to open a box on, you know, on an Instagram live stream and give away some freebies to the viewers. And I bought these primarily for that. And, you know, co these combined with some of the other duplicates of Vs, Vmaxes and Vstars I already have. Um, yeah, going to give away some cool cards to the viewers. Uh, one of these is going to go into my collection because I'm actually still missing the Cleavor V-Star. But nevertheless, uh, I'm not going to go through all of these. Uh, it's just a, a bunch of a bunch of cards. And I don't know, I think these are pretty neat. And hopefully the viewers will like them. You know, uh, nothing super, super crazy. But nevertheless, some, some cool artwork and uh, interesting cards. All right, moving on to some singles I purchased. So let's, you know what, let's start it off with these three here. So these are all sleeves, but they're not in top loaders. Uh, it's primarily because they're not really in gradable condition, but that's fine. I bought them for my binder collection anyways. This is a Koro Koro, as you can see right here, Typhlosion from 2018, a promo. It's, yeah, definitely not gradable. If we look up here, there's like a, a, an indentation or a crease and then some quite rough surface up there. Uh, but uh, it's gonna go well into the binder. There's actually a Zapdos in the same style with the same logo down here from 2018 as well. So the Typhlosion next to the Zapdos is gonna look pretty pretty cool. Then I bought this McDonald's Scizor. <laughs> I have a thing for Scizor. I really like Scizor. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. And uh, this McDonald's promo is pretty neat. Another binder copy. And then I bought this Garchomp EX. Uh, it's also a Koro Koro promo. So x y and you get the little uh little uh, mascot symbol there uh, pretty cool i like these unique you know kind of promo stamped cards and i don't know just i think it looks like a cool card and so these are all going to go into the binder collection moving on <laughs> this was one lot i purchased from one seller <laughs> so quite a lot and as you can tell only two of them are in top loaders so these i purchased primarily because i want to do one binder page with you know three sets so three Dark Jolteons, three Dark Vaporeons, and three Dark Flareons in one binder page, so to speak. And, uh, you know, I knew going in, buying these, that they were not going to be in gradable condition. I didn't expect that considering the price or anything like that. Nevertheless, they're still really cool cards. These two are in a little bit better condition. Uh, they're, they're fairly okay. They got a little bit of edge issues. Uh, you know, I'm thinking like it's kind of like PSA 6, 7 range. So not really worth grading, but... Uh, I put them aside that, you know, maybe if grading prices ever come down and, you know, are really, really low again, I might send these in just for fun. But nevertheless, I bought these for my binder collection and I have, you know, I'll have one set extra. If you're interested, let me know. I can give you a really good deal on these. Okay, where should we go next? Let's go to some Pokemon Go stuff that I purchased. So I got actually quite lucky with my booster box that I opened. I pulled the Charizard, the Radiant Charizard, um, but I didn't pull a single regular Hollow Venusaur. And it's probably my, one of my favorite artworks from the whole set. I love this uh, Venusaur. It kind of reminds me, and I'll show you. Um, I said it in the live stream a bunch of times, but it really reminds me of the uh, Dark Venusaur or GB promo. And uh, I have one here for comparison. So this one is from my collection. I didn't purchase this one this month, but if you look at, look at the two cards, I mean, the colors are different, but look at the face. Isn't the face almost like almost identical, like if you just compare the two, right? <laughs> Very similar, like the kind of uh, facial expression and the art style of the, the face of Venusaur. 
it really, really reminded me of their card. So I just, I don't know, I just really like, like it. So I bought like a lot from one seller with a bunch of these. Um, oh, that's good. That was there. So that was one purchase. And uh, then I bought this from one seller, a little lot of the Dragonites, the regular V, the V from uh, with the Pokemon Go stamp. So this is actually in Japan, one of the promo cards. It comes in the blue promo packs. And I bought the Rainbow Rare uh, Dragonite V-Star. I pulled the, the Rainbow Rare Mewtwo um, from some packs I bought from a convenience store. And then I just figured I wanted this for my collection. And I paid 800 yen for these three cards, which is like, I don't know, $6.50. I mean, you can't, you can't really go wrong with that, if you ask me. So pretty happy with this purchase. And then I bought the other three Radiants from Pokemon Go. Uh, so I pulled the Charizard, but I didn't get these three out of packs. So I purchased them to complete the set. They're in top loaders now. A lot of the cards that are in top loaders, like for example, these two up here as well. Um, I might get them graded one day, maybe not. Uh, these are probably going to go into my binder. I'm trying to do like a binder page or two with just Radiant Pokemon. And yeah, I think they look pretty good in Japanese. Like they, they really pop. So we'll see a lot of these, like I said, maybe graded, will be graded one day, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, but just some interesting cards for my uh, collection. Uh, we have more singles, however, a bit more... Uh, different ones actually you know what let's let's move to this stack i have a stack on the side here so this is another radiant card the hisoian sneezer i was missing this one from the radiant collection the only one i'm missing now is the gray ninja i still haven't purchased one and prices keep going up and i should just buy one but i haven't done it yet but uh, i really like this card i think it looks really really good okay uh, then i purchased these three cards so these are from the legend series we have a uh, legend one Legend 1, Legend 1. Uh, I'm not so familiar with the Japanese set names, but the, you know they are all from 2009. Non-hollow, but it's the three Gen 2 starters, and I think they look sick. I love the Heart Gold and Soul Server uh, borders. They look really cool. And these are in pretty good condition. The uh, Typhlosion, the Beganium have a bit of a corner issues, but uh, you know, again, Probably going to be in the binder, but you know, imagine these three next to each other in a binder row looks pretty sick. So pretty happy with these. All right, moving on. Um, let's go this this way. I bought this Pikachu promo. It's a 2008 Diamond and Pearl promo holographic. I think it looks really cool. I like the holographic uh, on this particular artwork. It looks pretty pretty neat. Pretty decent condition. Quite happy with this purchase. Then I bought some. Uh, Pokemon card gym promos. If you don't know, in Japan, these promos are given out to players at competitions, tournaments, at local card shops. And so these are all from uh, 2018. As you can tell, uh, if they have, you know, there's more modern versions of these or these types of promos. But the ones with the white border are from 2018 and they are a little bit harder to find. You know, 2018 was kind of that sweet spot. It was after the 2016 Pokemon Go hype and before the pandemic boom, you know, so to speak. So, you know, I'm sure there were a lot of these printed, but on the secondary market, there are not that many online at any given time. So I was happy to pick these up. We get the Latios, Latias, and then the Deoxys. And I just think these look really cool. I'm especially a fan of the Deoxys. I really like Deoxys in general. And I think in this particular card with the white borders and the uh, the purple background, it just looks really, really cool. And interestingly, every single one of these promos, even the newer ones I've seen, the stamp is always on the right side, but for some reason on the Deoxys, it's on the left side. Don't know, I have no idea why. Kind of interesting, but uh, yeah, I really like these and I want to get these graded someday, but at current prices, it's just not worth it. But I really, really like these cards. All right, moving on, we have an OG card. We have the Raichu from the Versus series. Uh, this one has a couple of issues, so I'm not sure if we're gonna get, get a grade at some edge wear. Um, I have a Versus series graded in a nine that has like similar corners, so you never know with PSA, but uh, I love Versus series. I, I posted something about it on, on my Instagram the other day, and you know, it's such a unique set, all exclusive art, and there's so much about it that's interesting. Uh, the first time first edition was used on Japanese cards, the first time this uh, num modern numbering system is used to the first Japanese cards to come with the new back. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff. I mean, but the best thing to me is the artwork. Just really, really lots of cool artwork in this set. And I really like this Raichu. Looks 
so cute. Then I picked up from two different sellers, but it's the same card, two Delta Species for Alligators. I really like this artwork. I like the, the blue and the yellow goes together really well. And these are both in very good condition. Uh, one, uh, this one is really off center, unfortunately, as you can probably tell. Uh, this one is a little bit better centered, but it has a minor, minor edge and corner issue. So, you know, these are like in the PSA 9 range-ish. <laughs> Eight to nines again, going into the grading pile, but just waiting for prices to come down. But I, ch I don't know, I love Delta Species and Ferreligator looks badass in this artwork. So very happy with the pickup. Moving on, we have a Pikachu from the uh, Bulbasaur deck, which comes from the VHS intro pack, intro decks. And I like this card a lot. It's it's quite in good condition. Has a small lip on the back uh, corner there. Another one of those may be gradable in the future, but I just, I love the... Um, the Bulbasaur and Squirtle decks from the VHS intro pack. I, just, I think they're really cool. There's some unique artwork. This one in particular is simply just a base set reprint, obviously, as you can tell. But I don't know, I think it's cool. I like having the OG Pikachu uh, in like a different card. And you can see there, this is number 13. So all of these cards in this set uh, had two copies. So number 13, and then I'm not sure what the other one is, which number, but either way, Really cool, I like these a lot, and whenever I see a good deal on ones in decent condition, I usually pick them up. Moving on to this card. <laughs> I love, love, love this card so much, or I should say this artwork. Um, this Bulbasaur is, mm, it's, a, it's a top 10 artwork for me in the hobby, for sure. It looks so good, I don't know what it is, I really like it. This one is from the Vending series, so it is a a glossy card. It's a little bit hard to tell through the uh, the top loader and the sleeve, but it's one of those glossy cards. And it has, you know, it's 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 in pretty good condition. It has some minor, minor issues on the edges and corners, like very, very minor whitening and very, very uh, faint, minor uh, kind of micro scratches on the back surface. But generally speaking, I mean, this is on the top loader. <laughs> it's, it's in really good condition. And these are really hard to find in good condition because, you know, even straight, you know, on release, the back of these cards was exposed. I actually have something later to demonstrate that. But the backs of these cards was exposed to the elements. So they scratched up really easy in the back and then you had to peel them. So oftentimes straight from the peel, they have corner and edge issues. So finding these in good condition is quite difficult. So I bought this one for, I think it's about $6, you know, for one of my favorite artworks. I couldn't say no. And this one will definitely get graded someday. Love it so much. Okay, another single here before we move on to some promos and kind of the more obscure stuff and the slabs at the end. But I bought the OG 1996 base set Saptos. It's in pretty good condition. It has minor, minor whitening on the edge, like right there, for example. And I think a little bit up here, maybe. Yeah, you can see. And up here. So this is like a PSA seven to eight range not great and at current prices you know i wouldn't grade this card but uh similarly to this you know bulbasaur finding old cards like this in in like decent condition for a decent price is really hard and I actually picked this one up from a card store believe it or not uh, i still have the little sleeve it came in i paid 1109 yen for it which is around, I don't know, $9, $9.50. I think that's a very fair deal. I looked at comps on eBay and I saw some with really rough edges sell for that price and ones in comparable condition sold for, I don't know, like, uh, uh, you know, 2,000, 2,500 yen. So I think I got a good deal, slightly under market value and one card I eventually want to get graded once prices come down. I also picked this up because it actually has really quite good centering. It isn't perfect, but if you look at it, it's pretty damn good. And that is not a guarantee on vintage Japanese cards. Let me tell you that. I think most of you probably know that. But getting a card with this centering from back in the day, um, you know, Japanese is quite hard to find. So quite happy with this pickup. All right, let's see what else do I have. I went through these. I went through all of these. Okay, let's go to the some sealed promos I purchased. First one is a Kecleon 2001 movie promo. Uh, this is the card. Uh, well, here is a picture of the card. <laughs> uh, E-series. 
This is the second one I have, so this is a duplicate. I quite like these. Uh, I think they're really neat. The card itself, you know, it's not the craziest card in the world. I mean, it's a Kecleon, but nevertheless, you know, having something from 2001, uh, you know, e-reader style sealed, I think is always neat, always interesting. And I just like picking these up when I see them for a good price and actually purchase it together with the Zapdos in the card store. Uh, so uh, because I have duplicates, some of the ones I'm gonna show you now, um, I'm thinking about selling. I'm coming back to Switzerland in the summer and I might sell some stuff online on ricardo.ch. But uh, if, so if you're interested, keep an eye out for that. Uh, or if you're interested also, just send me a message on Instagram and uh, you know I can hook you up. I can give you some good deals. So this one, and then I purchased Two Rayquaza's, uh, Rayquaza promo blisters from, uh, these are from 2018. I love these because they come with, as you can probably see here, get the focus right, yeah, two cards. So there's two cards per uh, per pack. And it's the same card, but there's just two. <laughs> I think it's super neat. I've picked these up a bunch of times before. Again, similar um, with like a Kekleon kind of uh, thinking here is that whenever I see them for a good deal, I just pick them up. I have seen a lot of Rayquaza artwork. I'm sure I have not seen it all, but this is maybe one of my favorites. Look at that. How cool is that card? <laughs> I don't know. I just I think it looks super badass. Oh yeah, anyways, I like picking these up. Same here because I have, you know, multiples of these in my collection already. Uh, if you're interested, let me know. I can give you some good deals here. And then another sealed promo here. Uh, another one from a movie. This is from 2009 RCS promo. And if you're wondering what the card is, well, this is the card right here. It's a non holo uh, not the craziest card in the world, but I like this sealed pack a lot because, well, I like RCS, but also it comes with this uh, RCS poker chip. I think that's kind of neat. And uh, yeah, um, just something cool to have in the sealed collection. And another one of those items, I just buy when I see a good deal because I just, you know, sealed promos is one of the things I collect and, you know, these these are in that category. Um, we have another sealed promo. This is <laughs> Pikachu the movie promo. And this is from a 2000 uh, movie from the year 2000. And uh, these are a Hitman top and an Iglybuff card. And they are in this vending series style release. So this is how the vending series style were released and kind of on the on a little piece of paper cardboard like this. And so you can imagine now the plastic bag is not how they came in, right? So when these were given out to people, you know, you can just imagine how easy the back surface scratched. And so that's why the vending series cards are really hard to get without back scratches and in general good condition. But this one is pretty mint, uh, some micro scratches, obviously, but I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, uh, it's the first one in my collection. So this one is not for sale. This one's going to stay in my collection. And uh, I just think it's really cool, really neat. Okay, okay. Moving on before we get to these two and my graded slabs. I want to show this right here. So I got to make some room, get these cards out of the way real quick. Make some room, make some room. All right. So first we have, this was kind of like a bonus, a Chirachi postcard, also kind of a movie promo. Uh, picking up a lot of movie promos. And it's like a 3D effect, so it's a little bit hard to tell maybe but uh, in the video, but uh, obviously you can see down here, it's like moving. But then look at the background. The background is actually really trippy. It doesn't come across quite as good on video, but it's very trippy in person. So kind of neat, but uh, this came like as a bonus when I purchased this, and this was the main reason uh, why I made that purchase. It is a Jumbo promo. It is the Latios Latias, again, a movie promo, the fifth movie, and very, very shiny, as you can see, super, super shiny. And I like it a lot, it's Latios Latias, but it also has Celebi Mewtwo, Lugia, and Entei in the picture. And uh, yeah, I like picking up jumbos, especially vintage jumbos, and this one looks super cool, super badass. Very happy to have, finally have one in my collection, and I will try and take care of it. I don't plan on, on grading any of my jumbo cards because I think the the jumbo slabs from PSA, they are enormous, <laughs> way too big. It's, I don't know. So I'll just take care of it like this. Okay, before we get to the greatest slabs and finish it, let's look at these two. 
So these are something you might have never seen before. Um, these are ANA, so ANA is a Japanese airline, all Nippon Airways. And back in the day, they had some Pokemon planes, Pokemon jets. And uh, as you can see right there, that's what they looked like. Pretty cool, right? Well, when they, you know, introduced those planes, people flying or, you know, booking a flight, they got these gold boarding passes. And um, one of them is the flying Pikachu. So you can see ANA gold boarding pass. The flying Pikachu. And uh, the other one is a new gold boarding pass. And then the third one is a Mewtwo, which I'm still missing. So that's the third one that I need to complete the collection. And I, I just think these are really cool. If we look at it a little bit closer, so you can see they have a serial number, which is, you know, <laughs> we actually have something in Pokemon that is serialized. It's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, they have serial numbers and on the card they have the destination is Pokemon Hiroba. Hiroba means like a kind of a public square or what, a big open place, plaza, something like that. The flight is the ANA Pokemon Jet, and then you have the name Mew, then some general information uh, about the plane. And so this is the Mew. This is the Pikachu. As you can see, the serial number is different. And uh, let's look at the back on one of, one of these. So just getting it up. So let's look at the Mew here again. The gold boarding pass. I mean, it, you know, kind of neat. So we have the back here. And yeah, this is where you would like write your name and uh, information. <laughs> yeah, kind of your address. You could write on it. So I don't know why people would. <laughs> but yeah, I think these are really neat and uh, something interesting I thought about picking up. And yeah, I don't know. I like Mew, I like Pikachu. And these are an interesting piece of the Pokemon history. And actually one of them, the Pikachu, came with the original envelope that, uh, you know, this, this is the way it was sent to people. Pretty cool. All right. Last but not least... My greatest laps that I picked up. So I've been working on a Japanese space set 1996 PSA collection and I purchased these two holographics. We have the Machamp and the Hitmonchan both in a PSA 9. Uh, yeah, happy to add these to the collection and slowly, slowly working towards completing the set. I'm focusing on the hollows and the starters for now and maybe, you know, the whole evolution line of the th three starters. Um, but uh, Eventually, I might expand it to complete the whole set, but for now, I'm focusing on the Hollows and the Starters and Pikachu. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to complete the set in PSA 9. I think PSA 9 is where the value is at. Um, you know, I, I checked eBay, and if I had purchased uh, the Machamp, I only looked at the Machamp, but the Machamp in a PSA 10 would have been five times more expensive. Five times for a 10. It just doesn't, to me, it doesn't make sense. I mean, go ahead, feel free, you know, do whatever you like. For me, nine is where the value is at, especially if you look at this card. I mean, it is flawless. I mean, I don't see any whitening. Uh, it's gonna be obviously very hard to see in the video. It always is, you can never quite tell from videos. But, uh, you know, this card is so clean. It is so clean. And, uh, you know, the centering is maybe off a little bit. And probably that's why I got a 9. <laughs> but, like, it's a truly mint card. And that's all I need for my collection. So, super happy with the pickup and the Hitmachan as well. Very, very sick hollow pattern there as well with the Machamp. Such a, you know, an infamous legendary card. And very happy to add these to the collection. And so that's it. That's what I purchased in June as far as singles, promos, sealed stuff, uh, you know. Uh, odd things like these um, and uh, yeah let me know what you think let me know what you bought I'm always curious to hear what other people buy and stay tuned for future Instagram live streams if you want to win some of these cards I think I'm gonna do like some mystery packs where I'll put like five cards in one little mystery pack and suddenly you can get one at random and I'll just ship it to you for free if you win uh, you know absolutely zero cost to you so yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, if you are interested in some of the promos I showcase, the ones I have duplicates of, and you want to buy something, let me know. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,